sparks are flying, the championships hotting up and the drivers are competing for those all important titles. So hold on to your seats for the final rounds of the Motorsport UK British Rally Cross Championship Five Nations Trophy presented to you by Cooper Tyres as we're at the home of British Rally Cross. So it's a warm welcome to Lyddon Hill. It is round six, qualifying one of the Five Nations British Rallycross race and it's a fair start then from the outside of Howell Ridge. Howell Ridge has got an absolute flyer straight into the Joker then he will go. And it's a phenomenal start then from Derek Tohill. Got a lovely little gap to work with as we head up to the top end of the circuit. Grabbing the apex there beautifully well, not leaving any door open for anyone behind him. And well, Olio Donovan, championship leader then does indeed head into the Joker on the second lap here. Tohill in the lead, great stuff from him then. O'Donovan again, who we didn't think was going to even be in qualifying one, is up to P2, so an absolute bonus for him, but it is going to be Toehill that crosses the line, takes the chequered flag. Great performance from him there. There is qualifying number one, race number two here at Lyddon Hill. And as you can see, it's going to be Ovenden going into the Joker lap, and it's going to be Fitney as well. The front three then do indeed stay out. And I'll tell you what, there's a big mistake then on the outside by Jake Thorne, it is. So Jack Thorne runs wide there. He's going to lose two positions, I think, here. It's a proper, pure rallycross. Bit of contact, got a bit of damage um, to the back, but. Hopefully the boys will sort it and then we can go and battle again. And Vitols comes into the Joker here. And well, how quick is it going to be? And actually, it's a mistake there from Godfrey. It's a change of lead. It's brilliant stuff then from Thorne. And Thorne now in the Peugeot takes the lead of this race. It's Godfrey in behind. And he is pushing here, nearly tacks the wall on the exit of turn one, down towards the devil's elbow. And we have not exactly seen where Vitols was on circuit here. So Vitols may have had a bit of an issue here. Power steering failed. We don't have a spare part. And yeah, now we are in quite a hurry to get get this part to semi-final. But ultimately, Thorn here has been the thorn in the side of Godfrey. He will indeed be in the lead here with only two corners to go. It is indeed going to be Jack Thorn that takes the victory here. And it's brilliant stuff from him. And we are green light like racing. And Philly's got a great start there around the outside here. And actually might not choose to take the Joker, but has done. Into the Joker, he will indeed go. Seller and Howard Ridge both got terrible starts off the line. Steve Hill, he is indeed going to have the lead of this race from the start to the finish a fantastic start and he has taken full advantage of that but can Howe Ridge get up to second spot down in towards the devil's elbow gets the nose just up the inside not quite able to do so but it is side by side up Harry Hill we come and I tell you what he's gone for the uh, oh, well, over and under it's a beautiful move here again a bit of contact between the two drivers down the hill they come Michael Seller is still hanging in there they are side by side down through the final corner up towards that final chicane a little bit of a mistake there potentially by Ridge Ridge gets the power down and it will be P2 great drive from him. Steve Hill wins out here and as we then head up towards well there's a big bit of contact there and Julian Godfrey has been spun all the way round that is going to be race over there and it looked like Jack Thorne may have got on the power a little bit too early tried to hold on to the position and then there was just a little bit of nudging and Jack Thorne then leads the way down Harry Hill, we come in towards that final corner again, looking at the top end of this circuit here. Total Hill merge though, ahead here of Ollie O'Donovan. Ollie O'Donovan then has to switch over to the high side here and actually lose his time to Tristan Ovenden. And Toe Hill has done the job then. He's ahead of that group behind. And now, over the next few corners, can he gain enough time to go out and take race victory here? Looks like there's a nice little battle there for P3. It's not going to come into fruition, but look at this. Jack Thorne does take a victory once again. Toehill threw everything at him, but it wasn't quite good enough. And here we are, then we are green light like racing. I tell you what, Jack Thorne has been so exceptional today, and this start is no different. Down in towards turn number one and semi-final number one, and he leads them away. Steve Hill just in behind Howridge in third position, but already three, four, five car lengths then gained. Front one is Jack Thorne. What a start it's been. What a first lap it's been here so far. It's all about Thorne here. Jack Thorne takes the checkered flag. That was impressive. You must be really chuffed with that semi-final. Really happy with how the day's gone. Fortunately, it's bred into me to be competitive and I don't like losing. Got one more little thing that I'm gonna pull out the sleeve for the final and hopefully we can uh, take a clean sweep. It's waiting for the green lights here. We have got green lights. Godfrey then got a terrible first phase, but his second phase is incredible. Contact between Toehill and O'Donovan down in towards turn number one. And while Toehill has hung on to the car and that could have been oh so nasty. It could have been oh so championship over. And Toehill is right up in behind. O'Donovan, O'Donovan goes defensive here. Takes a very acute angle up the top of the hill down they come who's going to be the brave under breaking down in towards those final couple of corners 
And I'd be very surprised now if Toe Hill doesn't decide to come through that Joker. Around the final corner they come through the chicane here. Nice and opened up there by Toe Hill. Toe Hill maybe with a little bit of a momentum shift here. O'Donovan's into the Joker and watch out for the merge here in semi final number two. Who's going to be in the lead? I think Godfrey's got him. Godfrey's got him. So's Toe Hill. O'Donovan down to P3. Toe Hill is ahead of the championship leader. This is huge. This has huge ramifications for the championship here. Can Toe Hill hang on? Godfrey, though. Had a terrible qualifying number two, but ultimately... Oh, no, it's gone wrong. His car's slow. Up towards Terry Hill into the apex. Now they're going to come back down, and Godfrey's car's slow. The race lead now goes back to Toe Hill, and he's just got to try and get across the line. It's Godfrey. The day is going from bad to worse. Toe Hill does take victory in semi-final number two. O'Donovan will take P2. Congratulations to him. Vitoles, who's had all sorts of gremlins this weekend ultimately is gonna book his place into the final and oh there is a car on fire that is not ideal i know it's bonfire night but that is not ideal at all so can tom constantine win from pole position well we are green light racing here no one jumped it that time and constantine then well he's trying to cover off positions from his left hand side and that would be the number 87 of bellaby bellaby then in the white and blue car just in behind we go a little bit further back again. So many sparks being sprayed up on the circuit. Constantine is actually down in P4, so he's lost the lead. Oh, it's a terrible joker for him. And it's a superb performance from Ellis then. So Ellis takes it. It is going to be Bellamy in second. Say it does indeed finish in third spot. And we are green light racing here in Stratos. Gets an absolutely lightning start then. It looks like Ray Morgan in the 114 has got a fantastic start as well. He's in the Ford Escort Mark III. Uh, but ultimately, he's actually filtered a bit further back here. So he actually is going to end up in seventh position. Looked like he was going to make a run then for a top three. And it's not quite worked out. The Volkswagen Beetle, though, of James Harold is in P2. What a start it is for Harold. And it's now Porsche versus the Volkswagen Beetle. And I tell you what, the Beatles going to make a move up the inside. So James Harold then does take the lead of this race. Quite easily take P2. There we go. Flames coming out then of the Beatles as well. Oh, beautiful to see. And as we come across the line then, it is going to be James Harold that takes the checkered flag. An incredible performance to take the victory. Front three on the grid then. Jack Thorne on pole position. Second then Toe Hill. It is Oli O'Donovan in third spot. It is indeed the Five Nations British Rallycross final here at Living Hill. It's round six. And as we come down in towards turn number one, championship leader is going to get ahead of Toe Hill. He does. So Donovan does take the lead of this race. Toe Hill in second. And the man of the day, Jack Thorne, is only in P3. It's six laps though. Plenty of time to indeed get back up into the lead. But Oli O'Donovan Donovan, oh, he saves it to when it means something. It's the final. Ollie O'Donovan is missed the final. Ollie O'Donovan still leading the way through that final chicane here. Who's going to come into the Joker here? None of them. All three have decided to stay out. So this is going to become a race between all three of them. Toe Hill, effectively, he doesn't have to get ahead of Ollie O'Donovan, but it would be great for the championship if he indeed did. Vitoles then comes through the Joker along with Tristan Ovenden. So they're both three here it is still toe hill in p2 and then in third spot then it is indeed jack thorne and p2 and p3 are both into the joker here so o'donovan this is brilliant for him they've both come into the joker so i would imagine he comes in next lap but can he put the work in oh it's a great joker from toe hill and to be fair from thorne his exit superb but they still trim behind vitals vitals is ahead of them and will he be ahead of a race leader vitals has won two rounds this season toe hills won two rounds this season Godfrey's won one round this season. Could Vitoles potentially be a three-round winner this season? Oh, there we go. There's the merge. Oh, Vitoles is flying. Vitoles is absolutely flying. O'Donovan comes out. He merges next door then to Toe Hill. These two, of course, P1 and P2 in the championship. O'Donovan gets the position, spins the car, half spin, holds on to it, runs wide. Onto the grass he goes. Oh, he's going to lose out to Thorne as well. Ovenden through as well. Oh, so Ovenden now makes the position up here. O'Donovan then makes a late lunge up the inside. There's contact between the two. This is perfect for him. He is only, what, seven points behind? By the end of the day, he could be leading this championship. We've only got one lap remaining after this. We're coming up towards the final couple of corners here, and it's going to be a win here. Robert Vitoles is going to take the checkered flag. He's going to win round six here at Living Hill. Nearly loses it, but what a race victory it is for him.